radiation therapy is becoming a bigger player in the management of uh, lung cancer from early stage all the way to advanced stage. And with advancing technology, uh, we're able to deliver targeted radiation therapy with much more precision. At the same time, uh, more and more of our patients uh, come into the clinic with implantable cardiac devices, either defibrillators or pacemakers. And there is a known potential issue which could be catastrophic in that even very low doses of scatter radiation uh, to these devices can uh, potentially cause device malfunction and be catastrophic for the patient. So even with highly conformal uh, radiation techniques where the beam is very focused and very well shaped and the device is ideally placed out of the beam, you can still have concerns in terms of it, device interference. In fact, with uh, the advanced linear accelerated technology now and the onboard imaging, um, there's also a potential concern for electromagnetic frequency interference of the actual uh, treatment machines and the onboard imaging with these devices. So a big need uh, exists to risk stratify and manage these patients while uh, receiving radiation therapy and there are actually two guideline papers, one from the American Association of Medical Physicists, which address this issue. The practical and the logistic barriers, however, are difficult in that although these guidelines exist, to bring a vendor representative into the clinic for each particular kind of a pacemaker and company to interrogate that device to make sure it's safe after radiation therapy is a huge uh, logistical and practical barrier, it, it oftentimes does not get done or it, it's delayed or it's done suboptimally.